Hello students, welcome to my channel Incredible Fitness Question. I am Dr. Komal and today we are going to learn descending tracks. Now descending tracks are pyramidal and extra pyramidal tracks. But what we are going to learn today are the pyramidal tracks which are also known as corticospinal tract. So this is the overall diagram you can see here. Now let's begin. 25% of the fibers of the pyramidal tract they begin from the motor area 4 and 6 and remaining 75% they are derived from parietal, temporal and occipital lobe areas 1, 2, 3, 5 and 7. Now you can see here on the cerebral hemisphere, the leg fibers they are on the topmost position and the head fibers are at the lowermost. And while descending to the internal capsule, so the, these are the fibers, these are the head fibers, they are coming to the internal capsule, these are the trunk fibers and these are the leg fibers. So while descending down in the internal capsule, now these fibers they undergo rotation through 90 degree as you can see here and thus the internal capsule the head fibers now they are lying anteriorly here yes and that is in the internal capsule. The trunk fibers they lie medially and the leg fibers they occupy the posterior position. They occupy the genu and anterior two-third of the posterior limb of the internal capsule. So this is how the fibers they have rotated here. As you can see here. Through 90 degree. Then these fibers, they descend to the midbrain and occupy middle three-fifth of the crux cerebri. While reaching here, they have again a turn through the another right angle. So that the head fibers now, they come medially and leg fibers, they lie laterally. While trunk fibers, they lie in the medial. While descending to the pons, the tract is broken up into the several bundles as you can see here. In the lower part of the pons, they get collected again and they form a single compact bundle. So this is the broken tract and this is the bundle of the tract again being formed. In the medulla, this bundle lies most anteriorly and forms a bulging known as pyramid. Hence the name of the track is pyramidal track. Now below this level, 80% of the fibers, they cross to the opposite side and they form cross lateral pyramidal track. As you can see here. While remaining 20% of the fibers, they remain uncrossed and they form uncrossed anterior corticospinal tract or pyramidal tract and uncrossed lateral corticospinal tract. So these are uncrossed fibers. Ultimately, the fibers they terminate on the motor neurons in the anterior horn cell of the spinal cord and their axons supply the various parts of the body. So what are the functions? All the voluntary muscles, they are supplied by pyramidal tract. Peripheral muscles of the small joints and skill movements of the fingers and toes. These are entirely controlled by the pyramidal tract. Example, writing, painting, etc. The pyramidal fibers are excitatory to voluntary muscle and when stimulated, they increase the muscle tone. So dear students, go and learn this track. If you like my video, kindly share, subscribe and comment if you want to get some other topics to be discussed here with me. So this is the overall descending track. That is a pyramidal or corticospinal track. I hope you have understood this.
I tried my level best to simplify the topic. So do subscribe, share, like and thank you for watching my videos. So we'll meet with the next video. Thank you.